Hey, I'm back. Today I was thinking about this subject. Why do people buy? Well, there's uh, many reasons, of course. The number one reason, in my opinion, is that people have a problem, a pain in their life, and they want to get rid of it. They want to solve it. Uh, sometimes people also buy out of boredom, you know, for entertainment, to entertain themselves. So I, I think these are the top two uh, reasons why people buy. And now, why don't people buy from you specifically? Why don't people buy from you specifically? Well, there's a few reasons. One reason is they don't know of you. They don't know of you. Never heard of you. So they're never going to buy from you. Second reason is that if they do hear, if they do know you, and if they do know about uh, your product or service or whatever, um, they don't think this might be false, but they don't think that your product or service will alleviate their pain, will solve their problem. So either you've done something wrong in marketing, i.e. getting people to know you or your product, or you've done something in the sales process, i.e., you know, presenting a solution for people's problems in a way that convinces them that your solution is the right solution for their problem. So, so the sales process I mean the marketing process, let's, let's start with the marketing process. The marketing process is pretty much straightforward. Uh, you know yourself what problems or pains your uh, product or service alleviates. So what you do is you target people that have this pain. Uh, or problem in, in their life and uh, then you present your offer and then you see how many people if it's online how many people uh, go to your website and uh, buy what you're selling so that's marketing identifying your target audience and then presenting them with an offer hopefully an offer that is intriguing enough so they click on it and come to your site, your social, whatever, wherever you're selling your stuff. So that's marketing. Sales consists of actually crystallizing uh, in the prospect's mind what their current situation is. They know they have a problem, they know they have this pain, but maybe they don't know uh, all the intricacies of it, and they don't know the actual uh, concrete reasons for it. So the sales process involves clarifying and concretizing their problem, their pain, so they feel it, so they feel their current pain or their current situation that they're in. Then you uh, ask, them, ask them questions uh, about where they want to be, how they, will, uh, how they will solve this problem that they have and where they want to be in a certain time period. Uh, it might be straight away if the, pro if the product is downloadable or it might be, you know, a few days or a few weeks if you have a physical product. 
and uh, that separation from their current uh, uh, position, uh, which they don't like, it's uh, producing pain for them, and the the uh, projected future position that they want to be in, they don't want to be uh, in the position they are now. They want to be in a certain better position in the future. So the gap between the current position and the future position that they want to be in uh, uh, is basically filled with your solution. You basically have to convince the prospect that your vehicle, what you are, what you are selling and what you are offering, your vehicle is the right vehicle to get them from where they are now to where they want to be. That's all, the, that's all sales is. You have to convince them that you have the right vehicle to get them there, where they want to be. So, that's all sales is. And how do you convince them that uh, you have the right solution? Well, you have to ask them a lot of questions where they are now. So they crystallizes, so it crystallizes in their mind what their position is. So the pain is real for them. And then uh, you ask them a lot of questions where they want to be. And, you know, uh, what that looks like for them, you know, so they start painting pictures in their mind what uh, solving this problem would do for them in their life and where they will be after that and then just presenting your product as the perfect solution for that problem. So that's about it. I was filming myself and this person thought that he's going to ask me a question. They don't, they don't see anybody else, they just see themselves. I want to know where to go. And I'm going to interrupt this guy that's making a, a video and I don't care if I ruin his video, I just care for me. So. If he doesn't care for me, why would I give him directions? I don't care for him either. So that's it. It's as simple as that. I treat you the way you treat me. If you treat me well, I'm going to be... I, I always treat people uh, g uh, very well from the outstart. I give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm, uh, I'm very nice to people. At the outset, but as soon as you start, as soon as you start bullshit with me, uh, the the door closes and uh, you will get bullshit back uh, in about five times the force. So that's it, you know. I get, I don't get many people, you know, trying to start stuff with me because uh, I stop them uh, very early on, and they see, okay, so this is the. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be fun messing with this guy so that's how it is anyway let's go back so you present your product to be the perfect solution for uh, their pain or the problem they have in life and that's uh, then you're asking yourself so how can uh, I do that how can I present my product as the perfect solution for their, for their problem or, or their pain? Because if, if you don't, they will, they will shop around for the better solution that they think is out there. So you have to at least convince them that your product is the best solution there is out there. So when you present the features or what your product does, uh, you don't you don't present 
all the features that are not really that they are not really interested in let's say you know uh, when you when you present what your product does and if the prospect didn't indicate that they are interested in certain stuff just don't mention that stuff you know concentrate on the features and the solutions that your product presents that is that uh, the, the prospect actually cares about do not present if your product solves other problems as well at the same time that's fine they will find out uh, when they buy it that, that, that it also solves other problems but they don't care about other problems they just care about one specific or two specific problems or whatever it is so just present after you've uh, established what the problem is and um, uh, in the prospect just present the solutions that your product offers uh, that are specific to the prospects problem because let's say in in certain let's say in certain uh, services uh, let's say SEO or whatever you know somebody wants to be high up in Google and then at the same time you say oh but we also uh, our 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 service also you know uh, our monthly service also involves uh, social media and this and that and we're gonna do Facebook and other that they don't care about that you know fine they will say oh great look uh, uh, they can they can do Facebook and social media for for me as well and, and, and it's included in the price oh that's very good just sell them going higher on Google that's it just present that your product solves that problem that they have and that's basically what sales is and if you have a prospect that you know your product cannot solve their problem don't try to sell them your product or service don't try to sell them. that will be scamming people that will be dishonest so don't do that Well done. don't do that so you know because you only want to uh, sell to people that actually need the solution uh, that actually will benefit from your product you don't want to sell your product just to make money and then uh, the prospect will uh, think oh you know this product doesn't really solve my problem I got scammed you know and then they're gonna uh, initiate a chargeback and you're gonna have to have support to deal with it and all this stuff but that's not even the, the, the worst problem the worst problem is is your goodwill will start to be eroded uh, if a lot of people think that you're just uh, trying to you know you're just trying to charge the money and they don't get anything in return you know people buy because they think that what they buy is worth more than what they pay for it otherwise they wouldn't buy it and it basically means they want what you sell more than the money they have they, they will pay for it and you want the money more than what you sell that's it it's it's uh, it's an honest and win-win exchange and uh, that's the basics of sales obviously then you need to make proper scripts for the sales but you can make a script from what I'm just what I just told you it's it's very easy it's not that hard to make a script and then you just start marketing you will get some prospects you will uh, email or call those prospects or if they don't buy you know straight away you will email or uh, phone them and you will uh, sell them over the phone or over the email and the script that you have that you've written will be refreshed and um, changed over time based on the feedback that you get from selling your customers you know whatever works you 
use it more. Whatever doesn't work, you discard and you change. That's it. That's the basics of sales, at least as far as I'm concerned. So that's it. See you next time. Cheers.